How to set up Google Analytics for on Shopify and Track Sales 2023 updated method. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be discussing on how you can use Google Analytics for to basically have a great analytical sense on your Shopify and just great and amazing ways to you know track sales and get conversion tracking and much more and this is going to be a really good and a really fun topic to discuss on today so please do make sure to watch this video till the end like and do notice that this these are not universal analytics that was the old ways and we are not going to be following those ways so it's going to be really simple and it's going to be really easy so yeah please do make sure to watch this video till the end and without further ado, let's just get straight into the topic. So to start off, obviously, we're going to go ahead into Shopify as we are right now, you know, Shopify.com. And over here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to log in to our, you know, Shopify account. But if you don't have a Shopify account, that is totally no issue. You can just come here, you know, start with a trial and everything. I'm going to skip all of this stuff. You know, these are just unnecessary questions for what we're doing today. But yeah, now for this video's purposes, I'm going to be using a temp mail for myself. But uh, obviously, you don't necessarily need to follow this step. You can obviously go ahead and use your Gmail or something like that. That totally depends on you. So once we get over here, it's just, uh, you know, copy your email and everything to your clipboard. And uh, from there on out, obviously... We're going to continue into the whole workspace and the whole outlook on how, you know, the main Shopify theme works. So paste then in the password, let's go ahead and add the password as so. OK, and then finally, let's go ahead and create a Shopify ID. Now, once you do that here, you can see it starts loading pretty, pretty basic, you know, so let's just wait for it to load us up and once it obviously loads us up from there on out what is going to happen is that we're going to go ahead and uh, start discussing on like obviously right now it's gonna you know take us into the main dashboard okay now once you are here in your dashboard let's get started with you know the other technicalities okay now obviously we're gonna first of all make sure to remove any old code that we have of the previous google analytics okay because obviously everything in shopify works with code so just remove any old code that you have of any old google analytics because obviously as i told you that was the universal analytics that were those were the old ways okay and i'm gonna be talking about something totally new and uh we're gonna want to make sure to you know scrap it all scrap all the old stuff out so to scrap all the old stuff out, just come to online store and uh, once you're over here let me wait for this to load up once you're over here obviously you're gonna come to these three buttons over here you're gonna click on edit code and you're gonna make sure to take out any old code now once you have done all of that and cleaned your slate you're gonna come to preferences now in preferences you're going to come to google analytics for you know google analytics now once you're in preferences obviously you can paste your uh code from your google analytics over here and you can also check on how you can set this up okay the google analytics section will tell you a whole procedure you know so you can you know migrate it pretty simply from uh, you know just pasting your code over here but obviously in some cases that code might be paid and you might have to pay a chunk of money for that but uh, obviously that's no big issue for us so in this case what we're going to be doing is we're going to head over to apps okay we're going to go and click on add apps now once you click on add apps you're going to go to your shopify app store and once we come over to our shopify app store we're just going to search google on top so you're going to come here we're going to search Google. Now, once you have searched Google up here from here, what you're going to do is you're going to find the Google channel. OK, and if you don't get the Google channel, just, you know, download 
um, one of these, okay, Magic Google Analytics for maybe multi feeds and uh, you know just add any of these Google channels. So the official one is this one where it says Google and YouTube. So just choose that and click on Add App. Now once you have chosen that and clicked on Add Apps from there, what you're gonna do is it's gonna bring you here and you're gonna add this as your sales channel, okay? Now once you've added this as your sales channel from there, what you're gonna do is like, you're just gonna keep this here and you're gonna move over to your Google Analytics 4. So here's your Google Analytics 4 and uh, obviously we're gonna go ahead and start doing our connecting and things okay so once you know you have a proper google analytics account what you're going to do from here is you're going to come here on your admin and click on create new property so let's call this property shopify for now okay and then we're going to click on next now obviously over here you're going to choose your business you know so i'm going to go with small let's say it's about let's go with computer and electronics per se then we're going to click on next and once you click on next here it's going to ask you these things you know choose your business objectives so i'm going to go with generating leads you know yeah let's go with that and those three and we're going to click on continue and then it says start collecting data so we're going to choose a platform and click on web and now we're going to add our shopify website url okay so to add the url what you're going to do is you're going to go to your online store and you're going to find your URL on the top. But if you don't, just go and click on view your online store. You're going to choose it as so. Copy the URL. Come here. Paste it. And uh, you can just call it whatever you want. And once you are done with that, wait, let me just go back here. There we go you're going to click on create stream now what that will do is it will migrate your data from your shopify over on to here and once you do that obviously as you can see it tells you all these instructions so it gives you the instructions to you know choose your proper google tags and uh, it gives you all these installation instructions it also gives you this code okay so under layout choose theme liquid so obviously you're gonna go here and follow all those steps so now as I said you're gonna go over to edit code so here you know go on themes choose uh, under layout where is gonna be yeah there's layout there's theme liquid and then in the theme liquid confirm that Google tracking tags are not present that's why I told you to delete those and then you're gonna you know copy this copy and then after the head element you're going to paste this so there's the head element you're going to do that paste and there we go and now you're going to click on save and once you've clicked on save as you can see it says add asset saved and once you have done that you have successfully connected your google analytics with proper conversion tracking to your shopify so yeah that's about it for this video now if you enjoyed watching please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel but yeah that's about it thank you for watching till the end and i'll see all of you next time goodbye